it's the White House. Okay, so I have to go here. So. Technology. Okay, so there is technically things there to get. No. Nah. Francisco. The army that occupies San Francisco still runs rampant and deprives 780,000 citizens of their freedom. Target areas that the enemy force uses as the base of their military activities are built around the town. You, you can hear. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I can. Target it's... areas where enemy forces are concentrated are dangerous, but you can weaken their morale by destroying enemy armies. Destroy all target areas. Annihilate the enemy force. <laughs> And make the liberation of San Francisco shine as a beacon yes, of Mr. hope in your Destroy San Francisco, Francisco to save it. <laughs> yes, destroy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. The code names. Oh, yeah. Metropolitan recapture operation from Cisco Sighted Road. Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President. <sighs> I do miss the day of days of uh, bad translations. Yep. Because, like, they were funny. Let's see here. The investments. Should we invest getting, like, in, for, into weapons? Or... I don't know. What As your helmetist, what are you comfortable with? Mm, well, it depends on what we face. It's like one of those at the moment I'm feeling more... Oh, shot, oh, shotgun to see what happens. So you can also make weapons as well as upgrade them. Yeah. See here. Well, do you do you want to make a new shotgun when you just upgrade your last one? No, no. That the development the the investment was to make a new one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the manufacturer is just again. If I wanted to, I think I could have more than one. Okay, so start with a shotgun. Hopefully, nobody's gonna correct me on the weapon I chose. <laughs> Kimbo shotguns. Yep. I am This is also very armored core. Just kidding. <laughs> also get a grenade launcher. But yeah, I'm just going left. I know at the top is basically the weapons you'll get, so I'm just gonna go. Okay, I just know the reload the uh the reload is going to be slow, but spread is well spread. <laughs> yeah. Get sniper rifles. Well, mm. Depends on what we face. I, I prefer to always keep explosives with me just in case we have to fight a very a heavy, like a boss enemy. Okay, so that's, that's probably save. So. I just realized why you even asked me about comparing it to Armor Core. This is also made by the same people who made Armor Core. Yeah, I thought you, that's why I was. Uh, yeah, I, I completely gapped on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that makes sense why this all has that, like, Armored Core feel to yeah. it. This one I got when I like ordered it. You get this and you got this. Ooh, that looks cool. Cool. I was about to ask, does that imply anything? Because well, my name should mean something. I don't know. I don't recall anything related-wise. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. So special object retrieval equipment. I'm just gonna go with snort. Does this game have auto save? No, I just, that's why I, I just hit safe, save. I didn't notice that part. I don't think they would hit, give us a <laughs> save. thing like the game was made and set in America. Yeah. I had to make it so aggressively Japanese. Gentleman has the gentleman in me goes off the clock at 5 p.m. The gentleman in him. Okay, so what does that mean? He's the asshole. I guess so. Take your hair come back. I got two shotguns. <laughs> Annihilate the enemy army by destroying the target. 
was a good idea. Those were especially popular back in uh, this game originally came out. It's a very needy sound effect when you shoot like five guys at the same time. They show you how much damage, you know, how much damage it's costing. Uh, games like Zombie Enders have it where, like, if I remember correctly, you get, like, the true ending if you manage to keep the damage to the area down to, like, below 10%. Something like that. It's a good, that's gonna be. Okay. It's, uh, that, that takes a while. It depends if you're allowed to, like, keep your certain on. Like, there's no good game plus feature to that, is there? I remember it being one and two. I don't recall if there was one and one. I remember uh, the, you know, Parasite Eve. Yeah. Apparently, to get the true ending, you first gotta be, gotta get the other ending. Yeah. Um, for some of the enders, though, it's like getting those games like perfect endings are impossible. <laughs> Oh, of course, this is not before I was going to do that. You don't want to do what I did, and that was what I just did a moment ago. Yeah, on, uh, you're going to stomp on <laughs> Yeah, that's like last when I played a bit. Like, don't do that. Like, do I just is the shotgun okay? It's in light firearms. Shotguns are pretty heavy. Pistol, just in case. They all very, they disappeared very quickly there, right as you walked into them. Sound like the person like I do not even know what that would they mean by like, POW. Uh, prisoners of war. guys at one time it's just like that chunky sound that comes out from all of their blood splatter sound effects at the same time yeah it just sounds so weird oh what what <laughs> she just let it up there they're breaking it Landed and didn't break. Guess the truck has made it tougher stuff. It always reminds me. I wonder why Tonka doesn't get into actually making real, like, vehicles. Like, Tonka. Oh, I'm probably wrong on that, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, like, the, the toy company. With their, uh, Tonka Top guarantee. No, my only argument to that is like they technically did because I do remember somewhere I saw a vehicle that said Tonka on it. But again, that could have just been marketing. Just been yeah. And you know the Tonka Tough Guarantee? 
if you can break one of their toys through normal play, not through trying to destroy it, you are guaranteed, or you will, like, it's a guarantee that you can't do that. If you do somehow do that, it's free toys for life. Huh. Or something like that. It's been a while since I looked into that. I hope that hasn't changed, I'm just speaking out of my ass now. Like normal play as a child, right? Yeah, not like putting it under a car and running it over. So I think they have like limitations on what counts as um, breaking it. As yeah, because I was about to bring it up. It's like somebody likes to make it play like stunt doubles or like daredevil, like you know, fly it off a ramp, and, or their way of ramp is just you know they just toss it. Well, if they're tough enough to be stepped on by an elephant, I don't think that's going to break it. Because that's what they use to, like, advertise their top of top. Yeah, I actually had one when I was younger, and, uh, it was a pickup truck type of thing. The back, the door to the bed broke off, but I never went in there by that. Other than that, like, the thing was solid for, like, to this day. Okay, I did not know if that was a hit or a miss. best idea to, you know, park in front of a vehicle and stomping on all the trucks that are in the shot one of them in the head. <laughs> like, he disappeared, too. Yeah, I'm going to anything. You smash it. It's more like a game or I really hope it's going to be successful. It's like, you know, just came out, so we don't really know the numbers yet. Is it just a one-time thing? So. You oh, might get a sequel if this succeeds. Oh, did I do progress? Uh, should have probably gone back. sense. None of those guns, except for maybe the pistol, would fit inside those things, but... Oh, 
Oh, my painting spec is a little thing here. Oh, I just realized the green box is for your right hand and your the orange box is for your left hand. Accuracy. Yeah. It's kind of hard to aim with a rocket launcher like when the thing is so small and yet. Seriously, I'm like aiming at it, but it doesn't look like it's not aimed at it. Yeah, it's a older game. Okay, uh, this way is probably progression. I'm gonna maybe go the other way. Yeah, probably is. It's an old game, so hey, 